Good morning, everybody. Coming at you from the west coast of Florida this morning. Really excited. We got an awesome day planned. We are here located in about Sanibel area, and I am on a 33-foot world cat this morning. This trip is sponsored by Landshark Logger. We are headed deep sea fishing out in the Gulf waters. I am fishing with Captain Brian Dollar today of Florida Old School Charters, and special guest who invited me, Axe Sharks, also known as Elliot Sudal, the shark wrangler, his girlfriend, Morgan Matson, and Morgan's best friend, Allie, and we are going to cross it today. We're about we're loading up right now and heading out. Just nails today, guys. No, no fishing. <laughs> Just nails. No fishing. Sorry. <laughs> We have moved locations. What we wanted to do originally ended up not working out. It's a little rough. So we are now staged up by some shrimp boats that are anchored in this area. And we're immediately off of Boca Grande, I believe. And we have got a nice Jack Creval. You can see this big old chunk of meat. We got two hooks in it. And Elliot's got it all rigged up for a monster. And we're hoping for a giant hammerhead. So we're gonna drop this in the water. Got some chum in the water already, and we're just gonna sit here and wait patiently for that bite. Like right now, there's big sharks around, but there's not a huge density of really huge ones off the beach. So, I mean, with these big baits, they tend to get picked apart by a seven, eight foot shark. Not, and you know, when when you have two hooks like that, that you'll you'll get them versus the one hook when it's a lot harder to hook a smaller shark. Um, so, yeah, I got two in there right now. We'll try it out. It's more effective um, and. Yeah, I'm pretty good at getting them out, so I'm not too worried about it. No, it's not gonna get back, that's the problem. Oh, I'm gonna put a balloon on it. Uh oh, go, 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 Hooked up. So this has got 400 yards of 80 on it. Okay. So there you go. Hooked up. Yes. We just got shark baits up. out, and we were about to send out that monster bait. He actually just dropped it into the water, and then our other line went off. So fish on, baby. Nice. Find out what it is here. We got a lot of line out, but I'm finally getting some line, which is good. All right, we got Woo! it. All right, I'm feeling better. All right, we got it. Share it off, share it off. Yeah, 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 shark mode! Ah! Oh my God. Got it. All right. Oh, he's going in. Stressed out, I was like, oh my God, we're not gonna anything. Now we got a 500 foot hammerhead on the boat. No. Yes, Dar Sizzle. <laughs> Bring her, sister. <laughs> identification on the first shark we hooked seems to be a smaller size black tip not complaining about that but what we're gonna do now is get this fish boat side and then Captain Brian and Elliot are going to kind of basically put a tail rope on them and get them both side and under control and that way we can go ahead and tag the sharks that's what Elliot does full time and he also does a lot of blood sampling as well recently so hopefully we'll be able to do that for scientific research, which would be pretty cool and interesting to see. So one close. thing with the blood samples is we had a lot of red tide around here over the winter. Well, sorry, over the in the fall and summer here. And now the shark populations are rebuilding, but we're trying to figure out how healthy the sharks are, what they've been eating, if there are any toxins built up in the sharks. We have this really cool program where we take a blood sample, uh, we pull it from the tail, and then I have the centrifuge, we spin out the plasma and uh, actually freeze it and ship it on dry ice to a lab in, in Washington, D.C., where we, uh, and we're all done. All right, yeah. If you can get a, if you can do the uh, lasso, I think it's a little bit chill. About a five footer. I mean, if we can get them on here. Oh, I'll bring them in the boat. Okay. You got him? No. 
Do you have them like that? I'll, I'll grab them by the head. Yes. I've got them like this. There we go. There you go. And then we can get rid of this rope so it doesn't look so bad. Okay. So, wait, no, leave the rope on his tail for now. Okay. So, Morgan, uh, so someone needs to... What do you need? Uh, you're not ready for this yet. I know, but so, I can handle So, in order to do the blood sample stuff, someone needs to hold him like this. I'm not. Um, like this is potentially, you know. All right. Oh, shark outfit change. Get on it. Here we go. I'm too hot. All right, so listen. So, so come behind me this way. Okay. And uh, you want him restrained, like you got there, and use your body to hold him down. So you, you got him. You got a good grip. Okay. Good job. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> I don't know why I'm Morgan's a little nervous right now, out. but we got Morgan over here on the other side trying to remove the uh, circle hook with the uh, the hooker. Now you got Ellie working on the tag and right. getting the blood samples. We can oh, we can work. Okay, all right. So let's do the blood one right here. Yeah. So check it out. What we got to do here is take 10 milliliters of blood out of the base of the tail. And this is really interesting. All the nerves, all the muscles from the shark, kind of bind together at the base here. And uh, here. So basically, I'm gonna insert this down. And Darcy, get ready because he's gonna. I'm gonna hit his spine. He's pulling blood right now. Yeah, he's good. You found the nerve. Oh, Al. Look at that color. There's some hot shark blood. You know, in my head, when I started doing this, I thought it would just fill up in two seconds, you know? Like, it's not. It's not. You have to hit this very uh, specific area. It's going, it's going. Almost there. How much do you have to get? 10 milliliters is ideal, but this is probably enough right here. To have. Yeah, this is about. DNA. There we go. Okay. That's not on my hand. <laughs> you know, you don't trust me? No, oh, two people doing it is not the way to do it. I know. There we go. <laughs> Boom. Shark here? blood. Um, here we go. I'm just going to sneak that in right there. Yeah, Sorry, Dirk. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, now I need a fin clipping. So basically, uh, those scissors right there, those little black scissors. So if you want to uh, actually snip on either side there. Yep, so you want me to do like a V? Yeah, and just, just around, just like a, like a triangle of, of thin there. That's more than enough. Yeah. Plenty, yeah, each side. There you go, that's all we need right there. And then, uh, that is uh, awesome, perfect. So that's uh, genetic, that identifies genetic subgroups. Let's get a quick measurement on this. All right, how do we do uh, this though? Just get right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pull it up, fork is I don't know, 47, 48, and then all the way up is, it's not, it's not identical, but we're at 60, uh -oh. Uh -oh. 62. Oh my gosh, uh, another shark. All right, so this guy's good to go. Let's uh, send him, right. let him in. All right. Okay. Let her do it. All right. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, wait. All right. Shark one. Couldn't help it. I had to throw another bait out. What? First. Be more bait. Good job. I don't know if it's on. Is he off? No, he's still there. He's a little. Check that out guys, first blood sample, never seen one of these and actually seen it done, but that was really cool and awesome that I got to cook, hook that fish and catch it and let it go and we got all that information from him, so pretty sweet and we're just really, I'm just really excited to see what else we can get into right now. But we got another fish on. We got a little guy. Sorry. Sorry, sorry guys, sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. So if you want to uh, use the pliers and grab that hook out, and I got my hands full. Back at the house, we got the blood sample and fin clippings with us, and he is a uh, Elliot is actually analyzing the blood for Beneath the Waves, the organization that he works for. And I guess you briefly tell him what you're doing. Yeah, so right now we have the centrifuge, which is separating out the plasma. So we have the raw blood, which we collected on the boat, but it's separating out the plasma 
uh, which we will then put into a little vial and then freeze and ship to uh, their lab in, in Washington, D.C., where they will analyze things like, uh, you know, what toxins are building up in their bloodstream, overall health, um, reproductive hormones, a lot of cool stuff. Really awesome program. Check out Beneath the Waves. Awesome program. We got beat up out there, man. It was rough. Yeah, like six no, no, foot no. waves. For we sure. were the only sure. boat out there catching fish today, and uh, we did everything we can. We put in work, and yeah, that's all. It. That's all you gotta say. Is like time and effort that goes into it. But yeah, check out Beneath the Waves, like he said, great organization if you're interested in scientific stuff like that, because I am. Also, be sure to make sure you follow Act Sharks on Instagram. He's awesome, the shark wrangler. <laughs> Been fishing with him quite a few times. And his girlfriend, of course, Morgan Matson. Follow her on Instagram as well. She's becoming a shark fishing wrangler herself. So, uh, in the um, making. so thank you guys so much. Links to all that stuff is down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna put another shark video that we fished with them last time where we killed it up in the corner, so click that. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>